No work has taken place on the psychiatric hospital in over a year, but that hasn't stopped Taiwanese Ambassador Tom Cho from declaring that the deteriorating structure will soon be complete. The facility was said to have been 85% complete when work was suspended by the Chinese when St. Lucia re-established diplomatic ties with Taiwan. Ambassador Cho says the facility is in its final stage and it is now a matter of resuming work and completing it within two months. We are going to start the, uh, to complete the psych psychiatric hospital uh, very soon. Now we are in the final stage. Uh, the government already decided uh, how to deal with uh, psychiatric hospital issue, how to do it. And then we already signed a contract uh, with uh, some related uh, local and Taiwanese construction company. And uh, when we are, I think that it, it, it's very soon now, within the one or two months. The project has been abandoned for over a year. The ambassador says it has been exceedingly difficult for the Taiwanese to resume work on a project started by the Chinese. We have to investigate uh, what is going on, uh, you know, what is the quality uh, cur uh, currently, and how we can address uh, to these problems, how we can finish uh, the, the project uh, with a good quality. This is uh, very uh, important. Ambassador Cho says it would have been easier for his government to start the project anew rather than picking up where the Chinese left off. The ambassador says it is no secret that Taiwanese face a formidable task in completing the hospital. You have to figure out, you know, what is uh, their, uh, uh, the project's uh, blueprint and how they are going to do it. Uh, what is the part? Where they, uh, where they get their part? If, you know, the part uh, no, no longer available in the market and where we can source uh, this kind of uh, uh, important part for, for the hospital. Often, Ambassador Cho has expressed disappointment with what he describes as substandard work on the project by Chinese laborers and has said his government's work was hampered by the unavailability of information on the facility. The ambassador says notwithstanding the many challenges, the project is finally nearing completion. Alison Kentish, HTS News, Channel 4.